Hey, Joyce, this is Paula Guy. How are you? <laughs> well, don't ask how I am. <laughs> how can I help you, Billy? Well, I was just, I was curious, you know, we're, we're driving through D.C. and we were looking at the history of it, of the donut shop story. And, you know, Jerry loves to tell the donut shop story like he was there, but we know he wasn't. No, he um, wasn't. <laughs> but I've also heard, you know, there's a lady that seems to, I don't know if she knows you, but she put a video on YouTube where she went to the spot where the donut shop was. Uh -huh. And she um, was reciting what she thought the story was in the book. And she mentions that it was a limousine and that Elvis never went in, that the driver, I think his name was Ben, went in. But she also mentions that Sonny West was there, which Sonny wouldn't have been there at that time. So we're kind of oh, confused there. about yes, what the there. truth is. He was there, Billy. He was there. Hmm. How? What do you mean how? I I don't know how. Was, was it there. when they first arrived? Because Sonny didn't come with Elvis. Are we confused um, about well, the timeline? Was this, well, this after was, Nixon? This was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the the following week. This was December thirtieth. Ah, so that's where we're confused. So so Jerry had gone back home, and it was you and Sonny and Elvis in a limousine. Yeah. Uh, and Jan uh, and my sister and my twin sister Janice. Aha, uh -huh. so that makes more sense. But so Elvis never got out of the car. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> but he didn't go in the donut shop like they show in the movie. Um, no, no, he was standing outside mostly. Yeah, okay. but he was, he was pulling around with those guys like crazy. Yeah. Okay. But he was loving it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the movie, they make out like it was him by himself and he's in his donut shop and these guys are looking at him like they're going to rob him. That's not yeah. accurate at all. No, no, they were not threatening at all. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Um, we drove in and they saw that it was Elvis and the limousine because you know the, you could see in the window they weren't blacked out windows back then. And um, oh my God, it was Elvis! Oh, they went absolutely crazy. They loved him, and he loved them, and he was having a wonderful time. And um, but but he got it. Uh, ben went in and got the donuts, and um, Elvis got out, and then Sonny followed right behind getting a little nervous and um to make sure everything was going to be okay and janice and i both stayed in the limousine and um the, with the windows rolled down you know listening to everything and having a good time and he was he was putting on a show it was great that is incredible well yeah. we're going to go to the spot where the donut shop was well i think you know it's not there anymore it's a, i think it's a kentucky fried chicken place. yes but we know the address and yes, uh Bladen bladensburg road Bladensburg Road at, at New York Avenue. At New York Avenue, yes, ma'am. And we're going to go there. And uh, so uh, I just wanted to get kind of clarify the story to be sure that we had it accurate. And, um, and Joyce, I would love to sit down with you one day, and we would like to have your book in our, in our museum as well. Well, you know, I'm coming out with a, with a new one. Because okay. I, but, but, you know, I, you know for throughout the years, I... I I've seen stories related about Elvis that were not true because I was there. I just read something. Wait a minute. It was just yesterday. Something about when Elvis had um, the, his eye, the needle, when he had a problem with his eye. Yes. And he put, the doctor put a needle through his eye. They said he was at the hospital when the doctor was there and put the needle through his eye. He was not. He was at Graceland with me when the doctor was there. And wow. They put, they, he went... We went to, um, it looked like Lisa Marie's room. It looked like a child's room down the hall from, from his bedroom. And it was set up with all kinds of equipment. And, and that's where the doctor stuck the needle in his eye. Incredible. And I, and I was there. So, you know, I see these stories, and particularly the one about Nixon makes me wild because, uh, you know, Elvis was here to see me, not yeah. Nixon. And Yes, ma'am. We do know yes, that to be a fact. We do know that. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you for that. <laughs> yes. So I'm waiting for Jerry one day to admit it, but I guess that would never happen. So. Yes, ma'am. Well, we, you know, it's important to us that what we put out is accurate. That's why I wanted to reach out to you and uh, before we go here and film this thing. But I feel confident about what we're going to film and what we're going to say there now. Um, so I appreciate you calling me. And look, I do want to keep your book in my store, you know. Yeah, well, after 50 years. <laughs> yes, well, ma'am. Well, that, that's wonderful. 
that's wonderful. Thank you, Billy. I appreciate it. Okay. And I really do understand Priscilla, whoever, that, you know, wouldn't well, certain books at Graceland, since she's still in charge of everything, I guess. I don't follow all of that completely. But, yes, ma'am. Um, but anyway, I, you know, I, I wrote it really as, a, as my little tribute to Elvis because he was an amazing human being, as everyone knows. And it's just my little part, just, just a couple of years, three years. And, you know, uh, uh, the lies that have been told around me have been really hurtful all these years. But I keep a low profile. But, you yes, know, but anyway, Billy, you sound wonderful. And I, I hope you have a nice day in, in Washington. We just went in the uh, Hotel Washington. Um, oh, the Hotel Washington. That's another thing. Yes, <laughs> yes. ma'am. Uh-huh. So it's where the, same. the room was on the fifth floor. Store. Okay, uh-huh. and see, we we talked to them at the front desk, and there's only 506. 505 doesn't exist. 507 doesn't exist. On his, the thing he wrote, he wrote 505, 506, dash, and yeah. never finished it. So do you recall the, where the room was located? And I know that would be hard to remember, but it was definitely on the fifth floor, right? Yes, it definitely was on the fifth floor. It definitely was 506, 506. I think it was 506, 507, and maybe 508. I think it was like you know, three rooms. Okay. Rooms there, you know, a couple bedrooms and the suite. Okay. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And the hotel back then, back then was very, was lovely and very sophisticated. Now it's terrible. Uh, somebody bought it and it's, it's just a mess anymore. It's kind of ultra modern looking in there, which is not what I expected. I couldn't even tell where no. the front desk was. It didn't yeah. look like a front desk. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's not at all interesting. Um, it was lovely back then. They can't, yeah, they can't change the facade because the outside, because it's just a historic building. Right. But the inside. They changed it a lot, the didn't they? Oh, yeah. You, I wouldn't even recognize it. Didn't even recognize it. Wow. I only, was, I only was in there once since it changed, and that was, I mean, I was in tears leaving, but um, I haven't been back there since. Yes, ma'am. But, <laughs> keep saying yes ma'am you're awfully sweet <laughs> yes ma'am well thank you so much for reaching out to me it means a lot and you know we want to be accurate with our stories it's important and uh and we also want to tell fans about you and about your part of the story so in the future if you're so inclined i would love to you know uh get you to tell pieces of it not all of it because we want them to buy the book but yes. uh we would love to do something like that and maybe have you to the museum one day and, uh, you know, we'll do something like that. Okay. Thank you. Anything to help you, Billy. That I sounds great. It. Thank you so much. God bless you. I, okay, sweetie. Well, thank you so much, Billy. Appreciate you. you. Take care. Yes, okay? ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, bye-bye. Uh-huh. Bye. So here you will find a newspaper ad looking for an experienced baker. And the Amy Joy's Donut address was 2201 New York Avenue, Northeast, Washington, D.C. So let's go there and check it out. So friends, sadly, it is a nasty, rainy day here today, but an iconic story happened right here in this parking lot. The building was right there. I'll show you a photo. You'll see that building in the background right there with the smokestack. The building was right here. It was Elvis, Sonny, Joyce Boba, and her sister in a limo with a limo driver named Ben. This was a donut shop. They pull up to the donut shop, park in the parking lot in a limo. Well, kids are standing out here looking at the limo like, what in the world is that? Who is it? So Elvis, according to Joyce Bova, sticks his hand out the window. He's got rings on his hand. And he's showing them the rings and talking to them. And I talked to Joyce. I'll let you hear her audio. And Elvis actually got out of the car, showed him his belt, showed him his rings, showed him his gun, and said the famous line, this is how I get to keep this stuff. And that happened literally right here. We're in Washington, D.C. And I'll show you the address in case you ever want to come here, but this will also be in my uh, app. This road right here is East 50th. And I'll put you the real address to the building. But it happened right here. Now, that's a different building. And she said that Elvis, she didn't think, went in. Ben, the the limo driver, went in and got the donuts and brought them back out. But he did stand in the parking lot and talk with the kids that were here that day. 
and they were blown away that Elvis had just pulled up right here and gotten donuts. And this was after Elvis met Nixon. This was later. So the address is 2201 New York Avenue Northeast. But when I screenshot my position here, it is actually a different address, and I'll show you what that is. That address in the screenshot is 1944 Bladensboro Road Northeast. You can see that that was a working KFC at one time. Look at that photograph. And now look at this place. Sad. McDonald's is still thriving across the street. They are the walking dog of fast food restaurants. Yes, indeed they are. But it happened right here. And you see the smokestack on that building right there. That would have been here when Elvis was here. Yes, indeed it would. So friends, there's the photo right there and you can see the smokestack right there. And that is that smokestack right there. Yes, indeed it is. So the, the building was no doubt right here. And these are at an angle to the road too. You could see that that building was straight to the road, not at an angle to it. So it was more, uh, it was turned more along with the sidewalk like that. You can see the road, the angle of it. I think that sign, this big donut sign would have probably been right in front of the truck somewhere along in there. But you can clearly see that building next door right there. So it was definitely right there, no doubt. Special thanks to uh, JoJo2471. She had this photo in her video that she did here. And I wanted to thank her for that photo. I don't know where she found it, but she did some research and found it. So I'm giving you a shout out, JoJo. I know you watch the videos and I appreciate you. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.